haven't heard the news yet. Um, 50 people around, maybe more, um, were shot and killed today, and uh, like 20 some people were injured. I don't know like the hardcore statistics of it, but um, they're calling it the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. Um, it's like second to 9 11, is what people are saying. And th this whole thing has just sparked up a conversation I've been having with myself actually lately about, you know, the gun control because not only did the guy have like an assault rifle and he had like a pistol, he also had a, he, he also had ties to ISIS and I don't know why he would do like, uh, he would, he called 911 before he went in and shot everybody and he's like hey I'm gonna go in and, and shoot all these people Allahu Akbar. and he went in and shot I mean I guess I could see why he did it because like the glory thing but it, that's beside the point um, but what I, I was thinking about talking about was it's just very it's a very dangerous place that this country's in right now and honestly I've been, I've been thinking about uh, answers and solutions to this problem like all day and I honestly haven't found any because the way I see it um, this is of this incident is obviously gonna spark a gun control movement type thing that like every mass shooting does but um, it's it's gonna go one of two ways um, it's either gonna spark something in the government that's like okay this is this shit's too far we got to do something about this you know or nothing's gonna happen which is obviously like the it's the more worse option and it's a, yeah it's terrible but sometimes that's just what happens and um if nothing happens then i can only see this uh going in a certain other direction and that is you know somebody's gonna see this and go hey I can do better and they're gonna go shoot a hundred people and it's just gonna it's just gonna roll and get worse and worse and worse until something's actually done unless something's done now which I don't and then that brings up the other point if you have gun control right if like if you take away gun, and like this is like the the worst case scenario of gun control like if you take away guns from everybody in the United States like I'm not saying that's gonna happen because like people are pretty adamant about keeping their guns but all I'm saying is if you were to take away every single gun from every law-abiding citizen uh, people would still get shot and people would still get murdered and people it's not gonna stop anything because do criminals care about the law? Fuck no, they don't. So it's just gonna put Americans more at risk for violence and shit like this. And obviously the solution, in my opinion, is not more guns because then that just leads to, I guess, people shooting other people more and it's just, it's a, it's a lose-lose scenario. Oh. I'm sorry it's a lose-lose scenario for most everybody's and like I said I don't know what the answer is I don't like less guns could possibly help but I don't see how more guns definitely won't help and I I'm just stuck on what the answer to that is how do we stop this kind of shit from happening without you know fucking somebody else over because, like, it, in my opinion, it's not fair if somebody goes out and shoots up a place and then somebody who's obeyed the law their whole life and has done nothing wrong has their shit taken away because some dumbass decides to go out with an AK-47 and shoot a bunch of people. In my opinion, that's not right. So, I mean, if you guys know, like, have maybe a solution or something, leave it down in the comments and we can start a discussion. Because I actually do want to start a discussion on this because I think that this is horrendous that this even happened and it's getting to the point where it's just going to get worse until something's done about it. But I think we need to think about what has to be done and not just say shit 
to say shit. Like, we can't just say, oh, let's ban all the guns. That solves everything. No, that's just you talking out of your ass. So we need to think about this. We need to actually sit down and think about what we should do to make this country safer, not only for Americans, but for the rest of the world as well. Because you fucking know that the Americans are going to get hated on because of our lax reaction to this. Like, we're desensitized every time some place gets shot up because it happens like every other week. But, yeah, if you guys have any solutions, like, maybe leave them down in the comments. Uh, I'll respond to you guys. We can have a discussion about this. And I, all, I, my prayers and everything go out to all the 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 people that were affected by this. And the only reason I'm not mentioning specifically that they're gay people is because really this could happen to anyone. It, it just so happened to happen to the to the gay club. I mean, you could shoot a movie theater, you could go shoot a lesbian club. It doesn't really matter. You could go shoot up a church. It, 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 shooting is a shooting. It's all terrible, and the guy's a douche, and it's it's terrible, and it uh, I I really have no words. But uh, with that, guys, um, just leave your thoughts down in the comments, and pray for those involved.